welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. Today, I am going to be going through some of the combinations that I have of body products, and that way you can kind of keep your scent all day long, what kind of enhances it and helps it. Um, also, I would like you to like and subscribe now if you're watching, just because I've, I've noticed such a great uptick in everything. So, hi to everyone, I'm glad you're here. And today you might learn a little bit about me. So let's see, um, where do I even want to start? I'm going to start with Freddy Bear is scratching at the door. Um, he's not getting in right now. I'm going to start with one that is a good combo that I'm almost done with. Um, pink Vanilla Kiss. Please ignore the cat. Um, Fred, stop. <laughs> um, pink Vanilla Kiss. I like to combo this one with um, the Bananas Over You, the Banana... The Body Shop Banana Nourishing Body Butter. This is a good body butter. I don't think they make it anymore. I am almost done with it. I'm not usually a big fan of body butters unless they're like a whipped butter. They're just a little bit too thick for me. Um, this one's really good. It smells kind of like runts. Do you remember? This is like an 80s child kind of question. The little quarter machines where you put a quarter or change in or whatever and you get like little runs with the bananas and the fake apples and the little candies. I used to um, get that a lot. Um, so this smells like really like candy so I, I love it. Um, backstory on the runs and the 80s child thing. I grew up in Oakland and not far from a long drug that had a quarter machine where you could get runs. So that's where I used to get that. There's a random piece of cat hair in the air. Okay. Um, if I pair that with a body scrub, it's usually something like cotton candy or one that's particularly sweet, so it kind of matches. Cotton candy, I also like to use. I'm looking, I'm missing, I forgot to grab a couple of things. Hold on one sec. Cotton candy, I like to use a lot with strawberry pound cake, with like the moisturizing body wash and the spray, and of course, I'm almost done with this body cream. Oh, I'm dropping stuff, I'm sorry. And the body cream. Um, one, of my, one of my little tips I have, exfoliate and then use the moisturizing body wash and then you, you know use the cream. Oh my God, your skin is so damn soft, it's not funny. This is a really good combination. Of course, we all know strawberry pound cake is one of my favorites. I'm gonna be just dropping them over here because I have a whole bunch of them. Next one, I don't really have a scrub that goes with this one and I generally just use a lightly scented, I would say, um, body wash using the Kaleidoscope body cream and the Wicked Vanilla Woods. I got Wicked Vanilla Woods when it came out last year. Both of them seem to have some kind of peppery note in them. They both actually have pink pepper, I'm sorry. Keynotes on Kaleidoscope is iris, cedarwood, clean musk, and pink pepper. And this one's supposed to be a little bit different on everybody. And then the one for this one, the fine fragrance mist is magical vanilla, glowing amberwood, and enchanted pink pepper. So that is a really good combo. I decided to use these two together. I don't use them that often, more like in the fall, but I thought that was a fun combo. Um, the next one. If I can reach it. Let's see. <clears throat> it's a lavender combo. This is what I've been using at night. It's uh, at least this spray it is from my project Use It Up. This is what's left of the Twilight Spray from Lush. And when it comes to this Twilight Spray from Lush, I'm probably not going to be buying that again because the first bottle got broken so I put it into another travel size bottle so I could use the rest of it and that one stopped pumping and then this one the warm vanilla sugar it's like it gets gunked up and it doesn't want to pump so I'm not going to be buying that anymore it smells really good but I can't buy it because I can't spray it so it's kind of pointless um I've actually been using that one with the lavender uh whipped shave body butter from the tree hut and the Lavender Shea Sugar Scrub from the Tree Hut. And that's a really good, nice one. I don't exfoliate all day, every day. I exfoliate like 
up to three, you know, about three times a week or every other day. And if I forget to in the morning, I do at night. So that's why I have one that's for evening and one that's for daytime. This is an also an awesome combo. This one, I'm not quite to the halfway mark, but it might be in next month's use it up. I'm not sure because when the twilight is gone, this one's going to be gone. When twilight's gone, I'm going to try and put that in a project use it up is what I meant. Um, next combo is have these upside down so I can use them. The coconut coffee. This is an interesting one. And I use it with vanilla mocha cafe. No, no, there's more. Um, coconut caffeine shampoo and coconut caffeine conditioner. When I was using this, it smells so much like coffee. I was making some of those herbal essence commercial noises in the shower. I was like, yes, oh yes, because it smells really good. And I've been using that with, let's see if I can get to it. I have a box of stuff right here. The Tree Hut Firming Sugar Scrub Mocha and Coffee Bean. This one is a little bit more harsh than the regular sugar, the Shea Scrubs and the Sugar Scrubs, but I do like it, but I only use it like this one maybe once a week at most. But this is like an awesome combination. I smelled so good. I was just in like absolute heaven. So if you're a gourmand lover or a coffee lover, you might like that one. And the next one I would probably use with the same scrub is Shea Soft and Smooth, the lotion and the body wash. This has a uh, hydrating moisture. It smells like frosting, like vanilla, decadent vanilla frosting. I really, really like this one. And this would also be a good combination with the shampoo that I was just showing you, but it smells so good. And then I use um, <clears throat> Cupcake Swirl with that one, but this has a little bit more of an almond note than a um, frosting note that I was expecting, but it's still really good. And they're both very deep and luxurious, so I like trying those ones. And then last but not least, oh, I thought the solution, um, Japanese Camilla Body Cream. And Japanese Camilla Body Cream, I like to use with uh, the Body Shop Vanilla. The, it, it isn't very strong. It does stay on your skin. Like, you know, the next, you can still smell it when you go to change into your pajamas or take your clothes off, but it doesn't radiate. I would say the throw isn't huge. Like if you wear it on a daily basis, this would be a good daily type of fragrance. And you know, it's a, they say it's a relaxing ritual, Japanese Camilla lotion cream. Lotion cream, lotion cream. I'm never gonna get them right. Um, but I thought these were awesome. Um, I was looking at the cream and the cream smelled really, really good. And I asked the lady that was there at the body shop and she said they didn't have a matching lotion, but one that goes well with it was this and she was absolutely right. It is kind of a strange combo, but it is a good combo. Um, yeah, no, uh, one of the other things that you will learn about me getting to know me a little bit, I love coffee. And I love my gourmand fragrances. I really can't think of anything else right now. But if you guys have questions about like me, my life, my lifestyle or anything, go ahead and let me know. I think this is all the combos that I can think of off the top of my head. But if I find any others, I will add them to this video. But until then, have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.